What's going on guys? My name is the AFK Abby and today we are back with another day, another daily and a quick update. I was told by an amazing viewer of mine who has gave me tad bits of information that have been immensely useful for me. And they go by Game and Logan, which is my first name as well, so pretty nice. Logan is a good name after all. And they said, just a heads up, know this is already recorded and you're probably working on episode two already, but hey, we're working on it right now, so thank you for that. The Garden of Death quest being the first quest is probably a bug with the plugins version of the optimal order since it's the newest quest to be added. The wiki has a good optimal quest order which should be the same order but includes some side slash mini quest objectives that I think the plugin misses such as getting early farming via the Hosidia's favor for a quest. Why aren't we doing that? I have been very AFK. Someone even called me out for being AFK. I usually just sit here and uh, let all this come back up. We do it again. Last night I did, however, uh, thieve a little bit to get some money. So I got some of these marigold seeds and I forgot that I had to buy seed dipper. So that was fun. But we're about to be 10 farming just from AFK doing these farming patches. Uh, I had nothing else to do. I was editing a video. So it literally uh, wasted zero of my time just to get close to 10 farming. But that is the update. I am now on the wiki guide in this quest list is starting with things like tutorial island which we have completed cook's assistant sheep shear mistaline mystery the restless ghost x marks the spot which is poaching imp catcher everything like that but i noticed that garden of death is not anywhere on the list it's not anywhere on any of the lists that i'm looking up so i say we see where this location's at and then we just throw it in somewhere what do you guys think let's see where the actual location is at garden of death show me well, how the heck do we even get here? There's Mulk. So we can come up. Can we go left? Go down? Oh my gosh. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We're going to go get our free 10K for authenticating the account. We're going to buy some farming supplies. We're going to continue to farm until we get to X marks a spot that hopefully will put us at 20. From there, we can teleport southwest of the Woodcutting Guild. We can run west. We'll do the Garden of Death just to get it out of the way. We don't know exactly where that's going to slide or be. But I think that's the best option for now. There's no enemies to defeat. I probably just have to tank some hits from some monsters. So we'll be sure to grab some food. But I think that just sounds like a solid plan. Get it out of the way. We're not sure where to put it. It's not on any of these quest guides. So we'll just slide it in. All it needs is 20 farming. We'll have that. We'll have some second secures. Why did I just say it like that? Anyway, that's so that's what we'll do. Okay, so the mission is set in stone so far. Like I said, I'm going to go get the 10K. We're going to get some farming supplies. And tomorrow we are going to start the official journey to the quest cape. I'm so excited. Hopefully we can knock out like two or three of those easy quests tomorrow. How many quests exactly is there? Like 200? Well, now I got to count them. Oh, 155. Okay, I mean, there it does say 155. And I just counted 155. Do you guys know if I have to do the mini quests as well to get the quest cape? I think that a lot of them are sprinkled in anyway. So we will be doing those. But if you know the answer to that, can you let me know down in the comments below? And lastly, on the way to starting this quest cape, I do want to mention that none of the quests mention anything about combat. So I will be training combat in between videos. You guys may see some combat training. I'm not quite sure. But the plan is for you guys to see as many quest processes as possible. I will not do a single quest off video. Unless I hit record, I look down after a quest and I'm not recording, then um, I would be so mad at myself. It's not even funny. Not even funny to think about. We only have one free teleport to the stronghold of security. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wield my ax, take a net, take the tinder box. We're gonna chop some trees then we're gonna walk by Lumbridge. We're gonna go to a fishing spot, fish, cook those shrimp, and then hopefully those will help us last through the stronghold of security. That's the best I can think of. I can't think of much else, guys. So when your cooking is low, you do burn a lot. So we're gonna take a couple logs. So we have plenty of breathing room and fishing. And I guess just for giggles, we're gonna attack an imp because we just got done with like a 10 HP account for two months and I haven't attacked anything in like a month. Get it. Oh, I forgot they did that. It wasn't for me to giggle. It was for the imp to giggle. Yans, eh? You know what? Even better. I'm going to, I'm going to smack this goblin in the mouth. Huh? What you want? Huh? What you want? Huh? What you want? Oh, dude, we are hitting like crazy. What you want? Uh, zero. That's okay. This one's a get it. Bow. Called it, get it, bow, called it. Yo, we're kind of, we're kind of manifesting something special here. Might as well bury the bones. Ooh, I'm not sure if it tells you to train prayer on the quest guide or not. 
So we are going to bury every bone we get. I walked by that guy. I feel like to be optimal, we should have just pickpocketed him, huh? I was going to bank, honestly, but I'm now not going to just because it's just one inventory space, the coins are. So I think we can live with that. I just figured out about this uh, teleport to the stronghold of security thing. I wish that I remember who I saw it from. I saw it from a video and it was a more popular OSRS streamer, but I still wish that I could shout them out. Maybe if I find the video again, I'll tell you guys, but I always hate when I can't shout somebody out. Okay, so my family did come downstairs. So what we did was we cut off the video, of course, because we don't want to bother their time. Uh, you know, they come downstairs to enjoy themselves too. So we killed some goblins. I actually had my son click on a couple goblins while I was putting together a shelf. So now we have two, which means we can finally bring some of those Funko figures from the back onto the other shelf. I can have my own shelf. My wife can have her own shelf. Our son takes his pops out. We save the boxes, but he usually plays with those. But yeah, let's go get this 10K so we can buy some of that farming supplies. So while we were killing goblins, we did end up with eight attack, 10 strength, seven defense, 13 HP, five prayer. That's not bad. Especially if like literally I would just walk by, click on a goblin and keep walking. Or I would just click on something and keep putting the shelf together. So we'll take some of this food, anything else that I could think of. I don't think so. We'll take our coins. I know that there's a thousand thoughts flying at once, but we may as well check on this too. Speak to Raldo to receive a strange device. So the new plan is we're gonna go to the stronghold of security. We're gonna get our 10K. We're gonna go to Raldo. We're gonna teleport back home, depending on where that takes us when we get the hot or cold. And then from there, we get the farming supplies and then I'll see you guys tomorrow so we can do the quests. There we go. Yes, please send me. Nice. Oh, that's so much easier than walking. All right, here we go. You guys will get to skip all this fun stuff, so you're lucky. Let me turn this on to always right click. I don't want to accidentally click on something crazy and die. So now let's talk about the ugly part of our year. And the ugly part is going to be this beginning. Because for those of you who don't know, we are going for the quest cape, but we're also trying to lose 100 pounds. And if you haven't noticed the ugly face and no hair, um, we're also trying to grow our hair out on our face and our head. Those will have no problem doing in the next six months. I'll be looking back to normal, not even six months, but the weight loss I'm sure is going to be hard. So I weighed myself today. And even though we just got 2k coins, which is good news, here's the bad news. All right, guys, moment of truth. When I said I was going to be transparent about the whole process, I was talking as transparent as this beautiful scale. Please excuse my size 13 feet. 356.9. Damn. So the goal is at least 256.9 by the end of the year. Now that's not all bad news because that's not the heaviest that we've been all year. Before we moved to November of technically two years ago, so 2021, I think I was like 370 and I got down to 350. So for a year I've been in that like 350 to 355 range, which isn't bad. I do stay at home. We don't go out as often. I work from home. I go to school at home, everything is at home. So the fact that I've stayed like 350, 355, I know it shouldn't be okay, but that's okay with me because I didn't gain a massive amount of weight. I've just been the same size. So just like I said in the video, I'm gonna be super transparent with you guys. So everything I ate today was I woke up, I always wake up too late for breakfast. So I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on white bread and I had a serving size of Cool Ranch Doritos. Throughout the day, I've also had four Slim Jims. And then for dinner, I just had chicken and rice. And that's pretty much it. I also had some Gatorade Zero. I'm pretty different than a lot of you guys. My favorite Gatorade is the Lemon Lime. It's the yellow. And I like Gatorade Zero much more than regular Gatorade. So that's not a bad thing at all. I may, however, have to take some caffeine pills because I did have soda pop every single day. Not an insane amount, but enough to where I think I might need like a caffeine or pill or something just to get that inside of me. So far, we're good. But tomorrow, if I do get a headache, of course, that's why. And that's all. Nothing crazy. I haven't had any candy. I haven't had anything else. Did I say that I had four miniature mild Slim Jims throughout the day? That was all I snacked on. And I am looking for something sweet, so I might get my sugar-free Jell-O out and share that with my daughter who's six months old. So we might just share some of that Jell-O. I might give her like a little, you know, straggler piece or something. This is so sus. All right, so here's the 10K coins. This means that we're gonna go get all of our farming material, like the seeds that we need, the seed dibber, everything like that. We're gonna get all that so we can get to at least 20 farming so we can fit that garden of death in somewhere because it is the 20 farming requirement. Tomorrow is when we start all the big boy grinds. That's when the questing starts and that's when it's gonna start getting pretty juicy. 
But thanks again for watching. I know that I say that a little too many times, but I truly do appreciate it. And I think that you guys know how much I appreciate it with how much gratitude I show towards you guys. You guys are just so supportive. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you guys tomorrow for the questing. Let's get this damn cape.